Princess Eugenie tells how it was a complete surprise when boyfriend Jack Brooks Bank got down on one knee to ask her to marry him, and Granny's very happy. Princess Eugenie has described her engagement to long-term partner Jack Brooks Bank as the perfect moment. The 27-year-old revealed that she cried and was over the moon after Mr. Brooks Bank got down on one knee as they watched the sunset over a volcano in Nicaragua earlier this year. The Queen's granddaughter described the proposal at a complete surprise, even though the couple have been together for several years. She revealed that the Queen was among the first people to know about the engagement, adding that her granny was very happy. After the engagement news was revealed to the world by her thrilled parents today, official portraits of the happy couple were released to mark the occasion and offer that all important first glimpse of the bride-to-be's ring. Mr. Brooks Bank, 31, popped the question earlier this month with the unusual ring, a pad per ash sapphire surrounded by diamonds. The couple told BBC's The One Show how they had been looking out over a lake and that the sun was setting and the birds were flying just before Mr. Brooks Bank got down on one knee. The lake was so beautiful, she added. The light was just a special light I had never seen. I actually said this is an incredible moment, and then he popped the question, which was really surprising even though we have been together seven years. I was over the moon. Opening bracket it was a closing bracket complete surprise. But it was the perfect moment, we couldn't be happier. Granny actually knew right at the beginning opening bracket of the engagement closing bracket. We left her this weekend and had a lovely time and she was very happy, as was my grandfather. We literally just told out mother and fathers and brothers and sisters and our grandparents. Eugenie revealed that she has been wearing the engagement ring for literally less than 24 hours, adding that the day of the public announcement had left her feeling so strange. Introducing her husband-to-be, who is undertaking his first television interview, she said, This is Jack, we met when I was 20 and he was 24 and fell in love and we have the same passions and drive for life. It's so nice that we get to share this moment with everyone and you get to meet Jack. Mr. Brooks Bank said it was love at first sight when the pair were introduced by friends on a skiing trip to Verbier in 2010. Speaking of the proposal, he added, it was amazing. I found a ring in a jeweler's and then proposed to Eugenie without it and came back and we designed the diamonds around this pad per ash sapphire. I went and found an amazing sapphire but then didn't want to do anything until Eugenie had signed off on it. And what's amazing about it is that it changes color from every different angle that you look at it, which is what I think of Eugenie. That she changes color and is just so amazing. I love Eugenie so much and I am so excited to be telling friends and family and very excited to spend a lifetime together. Opening bracket the queen closing bracket was incredibly happy and wished us well, which was amazing. It was very nice that she was so happy for us. It's very, very special to be a part of your family now. It's very, very nice to be a part of it. Eugenie added, as happy as Jack is to support and love my family, I am just as happy to support his. They're really, really wonderful people and they've been so lovely in this whole time. Seven years you get to know people well so they're already sort of parents and a big brother. When asked about planning for the wedding, Jack joked I'm not sure I'll get a word in edgeways, prompting his bride-to-be to reply we'll do it together, adding that she expected planning to start tomorrow I assume. Following the announcement on Monday proud mother of two Fergie, 58, took to Twitter to share her delight with the public in three tweets, which were retweeted by the Duke of York. In the first, she wrote, Total joy. Sharp engagement at the Duck off York and included a picture of the couple overlaid with the words, a total embrace of goodness and joy. We love Jack and I am so excited to have a son, a brother and a best friend. Eugenie is one of the finest people I know and so together it will be pure harmony. The Duke of York has said I'm just completely overjoyed for them and wish them every happiness. Jack is an absolutely outstanding young man and Eugenie and he have got to know each other over a number of years and I'm really thrilled for them, he added. It's now about finding the time and the date and getting it all organized.
I think in the autumn swamp time will be the time everyone will be looking at. He added, we can't fix a date yet, we've got to look at everyone's diaries. It's a bit more complicated than that. Today, it's their day and I'm just completely overjoyed for them and wish them every happiness. He also tweeted a brief statement from Jack's parents Nicola and George who said they were completely over the moon and very excited for the couple. We could not be more delighted with the news of the engagement, they added. The couple also received a message from Prime Minister Theresa May, who made a brief statement, saying, My very best wishes to Princess Eugenie and Jack Brooks Bank on their engagement. Congratulations to the happy couple. But it was Prince Andrew's former wife Sarah Ferguson who put on the most excited display as all, making her join on through a series of tweets, one of which featured a picture of the couple on a boat. She wrote, They float with laughter and love. Although a boat helps. Sharp engagement Sharp Orgy and Jack at Duck off York at Yorkia Bia. And in the third, I always say that the river flows well to its destiny because of the guidance of a solid rock. She added a number of hashtags, including Sharp Orgy and Jack, perhaps hinting at a pet name she uses for her daughter, and it's small wonder the Duchess was so excited. As mother of the bride, the wedding will provide her with her most significant role at a royal event since she divorced from Prince Andrew more than 20 years ago. Earlier today, a joint announcement by the Duke and Duchess of York posted to Twitter with a new picture of the happy couple, read, The Duke and Duchess of York are delighted to announce the engagement of Princess Eugenie to Mr. Jack Brooks Bank. Her Royal Highness and Mr. Brooks Bank became engaged in Nicaragua earlier this month. The wedding will take place in the autumn of 2018 at St. George's Chapel in Windsor, with further details to be announced in due course. It emerged today that, as with many royal couples, Brooks Bank and Eugenie are very distantly related. Brooks Bank's father's great-grandfather is Viscount Coke, a former Earl of Leicester and a pair in the early 19th century. Viscount Coke, who died in 1909, is also the great-great-grandfather of Sarah Ferguson, Eugenie's mother. Princess Eugenie was last seen in public yesterday attending Sunday service at Sandringham, where there was no sign of a ring on her engagement finger. Jack was also in attendance, but did not walk to church alongside his fiancée who strolled ahead with other family members, including her father Prince Andrew. The ring is expected to be revealed in an official portrait of the couple released by the palace later today. The Queen would have been asked to grant permission for the wedding to take place at the chapel, as was the case with Meghan and Harry. And the guest list is likely to provide more than a healthy sprinkling of celebrity glamour, thanks to Eugenie's well-connected friends. She's close to singer Ellie Goulding and was pictured with the star watching the Brooklyn Nets vs New York Knicks game at Madison Square Gardens in New York in October. She's also good friends with model Poppy DeLevingne and her sister Cara, as well as actress and ex of Prince Harry, Cressy DeBonas. Pippa Middleton and her husband James are also likely to be on the guest list as Eugenie and Jack attended their wedding in Berkshire last May. Eugenie and Jack first met in Verbier in 2010, while Jack was on a skiing trip with friends. The pair were rumored to be engaged at the end of 2016 after Eugenie was seen with a band on her wedding finger. Sources close to the royal shot down the rumors claiming it was a piece of jewelry she's always worn. However, rumors abounded at the time that the couple had made an informal promise to each other to wed within the next two years. Eugenie was said to have been rattled by her sister Beatrice's breakup from long-term boyfriend Dave Clark in August 2016 following a 10-year romance. The royal was said to be eager for reassurance from Jack that their relationship would not go the same way. Jack is already part of the family and has been spotted out on the town with Eugenie and her mother the Duchess of York on numerous occasions and Fergie is said to have long considered Jack a son-in-law. In September 2016, he and Eugenie were among guests at a shooting weekend hosted by Prince Harry at his father Charles's Burkhill estate in Aberdeenshire. And he accompanied his girlfriend to Pippa Middleton's high society wedding in the summer, where he mingled with the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, 
Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Ahead of his marriage to Eugenie, Jack may be given a title by the Queen ahead of his marriage, possibly an earldom. The wine merchant supported Eugenie's move to New York in 2013, where she took up a job with online auction house Paddle 8, keeping the long-distance relationship alive for two full years with regular Skype sessions. Although he moves in privileged circles, Jack unusually chose not to go to university so he could pursue a career in hospitality. It is this down-to-earth manner and confidence that is said to have initially attracted Eugenie, who is often described as a reluctant royal, with little patience for stifling protocol. The pair are said to share the same work ethic with Jack working his way up from being a barman to owning his own wine merchant business. A friend previously said of the couple, she is very uncomplicated. She's a doer, a worker, as is Jack. They are very suited. However, Eugenie's work ethic has previously come under the spotlight after she was criticized in 2016 for taking time off work to go on eight trips in 15 months. Despite reports he celebrated his 21st birthday before he knew Eugenie dancing with a naked stripper, Jack has more recently insisted that despite working in the hospitality industry his focus is firmly on his career, rather than joining the party. He previously said, I leave work at 11 p.m. and head home. I'm not a big drinker. People think we party a lot but actually we are very quiet. For me it's a case of going home and watching a DVD. And last April, the Queen's granddaughter was been promoted to the role of director of the Hauser & Worth Contemporary Art Gallery in London two years after she joined. Eugenie is working hard and doing a good job, said one of her friends at the time. The promotion is well deserved. The promotion came less than two years after Eugenie, who has a degree in art history and English literature from Newcastle University, joined the Mayfair Gallery. The wine merchant supported Eugenie's move to New York in 2013, where she took up a job with online auction house Paddle 8, keeping the long-distance relationship alive for two full years with regular Skype sessions. Although he moves in privileged circles, Jack unusually chose not to go to university so he could pursue a career in hospitality. It is this down-to-earth manner and confidence that is said to have initially attracted Eugenie, who is often described as a reluctant royal, with little patience for stifling protocol. The pair are said to share the same work ethic with Jack working his way up from being a barman to owning his own wine merchant business. A friend previously said of the couple, she is very uncomplicated. She's a doer, a worker, as is Jack. They are very suited. However, Eugenie's work ethic has previously come under the spotlight after she was criticized in 2016 for taking time off work to go on eight trips in 15 months. Despite reports he celebrated his 21st birthday before he knew Eugenie dancing with a naked stripper, Jack has more recently insisted that despite working in the hospitality industry his focus is firmly on his career, rather than joining the party. He previously said, I leave work at 11 p.m. and head home. I'm not a big drinker. People think we party a lot but actually we are very quiet. For me it's a case of going home and watching a DVD. And last April, the Queen's granddaughter was been promoted to the role of director of the Hauser & Worth Contemporary Art Gallery in London two years after she joined. Eugenie is working hard and doing a good job, said one of her friends at the time. The promotion is well deserved. The promotion came less than two years after Eugenie, who has a degree in art history and English literature from Newcastle University, joined the Mayfair Gallery.